South Korea's health authorities are struggling to bring down the new coronavirus infections. The daily tally was over 600 again. What's more concerning is the Delta variant that's rapidly spreading around the world. Bae Eun-ji feels us in. South Korea reported 634 new COVID-19 cases on Friday, the number remaining above the 600 mark for the third straight day. Health authorities are especially on alert over the more transmissible Delta variant first found in India. Further concerns have been raised as the government said on Friday that the antibody treatments developed by local companies have shown to have had little effect against the Delta variant. The effectiveness of the homegrown antibody treatments in neutralizing the Delta variant has turned out to be very low, although it was effective for other types of variants spotted in Korea. As the Delta variant spreads rapidly across the world, it has been detected in 190 cases in South Korea so far. Although this only accounts for 8.5 percent of total mutated cases in the country, there has been an upward trend with more being reported. On the vaccination front, the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety said on Friday that it conducted a test on each lot of Janssen vaccines for 10,800 people. This amount does not include the 1 million doses received from the U.S. that are currently being administered. This kind of testing is done because vaccines are biological products and the quality can vary depending on the batch. So this system called Lot Release allows the drug ministry to monitor the quality of the vaccine once more before the vaccine is released for public use. As of Friday, almost 30 percent of South Korea's population has gotten their first shots. Nearly 9 percent have been fully vaccinated. Around 200,000 police officers, firefighters and Coast Guard officials under the age of 30 who are eligible to get their shots within the second quarter will be getting their first jabs up until Saturday. Peunji, Arirang News.